Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Appreciate you coming out. We had picked up this 2016 Husky over the weekend. It's an all-wheel drive unit. I ended up paying 30 for it and then 10 for a pressure washer, a Generac with no hose or wand. So we looked at this in a beginning of a rainstorm I called it quits but we ended up at the very end getting this thing to fire off it had water on the plug the tank was empty I was using um, nitro to get it to fire off and it finally did so we're not going to find anything in the tank I saw some debris in there that's dry but I'm sure there's some water or something in the carb anyway if i go to sell this i want to make sure it's nice and clean and ready to go so i'm going to do it anyway whether we find anything we'll 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 see so the first thing you want to do is uh take the beauty cover off and that's a t20 torx i've got this little harbor freight handy dandy set so you Take the two screws out. It'll look something like this. This is a 725 EXI Briggs engine. So once you take the two screws out. Okay, what's... There's my hold up right there. So... Two screws come out here and here, and then you'll have a little tab underneath right there, which faces forward. So once the screws come out, you want to pull this backwards to unhook that tabby right there. Tear off the tabby. So now we're ready to disassemble. We've done these before. So the recoil's got to come off because the pressure of the recoil holds the tank down. We want to get the tank out of the way. Might throw some fresh gas in, swirl it around, and pour it out on this 2016 Husky. Let me grab my DeWalt. It's going to be 8 millimeter for the 3 on the recoil. Reverse. R is reverse. F is forward. Okay, so that comes off. Put that to the side. Now you keep your aid on. Your 8 millimeter socket. And it's going to be here. Then you put your seven on, it's here, and then when you get the carb off, the two bowls are sevens. So it's a nice little process. Hope you guys are doing good. I know I am always happy to be working on junk on four wheels. That's going to make me a boatload of money. Oh, that one went right down in the crack of the tailgate, but we, we found it. So Dino and I are going to lift up on the tank. Okay, now we're going to pull out on the, the carb and then twist it backwards. Unleash the automatic choke linkage and then the throttle slash governor link linkage. Fish that out. Now we're free and clear. Go ahead and take some channel locks or square heads or needle nose. Pull your hose clamp back. Give this a twist. Twist and pull.
see a lot of debris there a lot of hay build up for some reason so yeah I would put a little fresh gas in there this some crud that's kind of dried up down in the bottom compartment here so we'll deal with that later what we're going to do is take the two sevens off the bowl here put those down grab my big flathead screwdriver the stanley number 20 and i'm going to put put the flat end right in there and give it a twist and it gives me an air gap go ahead and put the flat head in there give it another twist and what do we have oh we have some raunchy stuff old fuel you could see the residue there on the cartridge let me pour it into this unclean container ooh ooh that's 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 bad oh it smells terrible so there's water in it just old crappy fuel residue get a screwdriver because this is kind of kind of left some residue down here on the pickup area your jet sits in there and it picks up the fuel that's in this little compartment so any of the water that goes into the bowl it's going to settle down there and you're going to be pulling up Pulling up water into there. Water doesn't burn. I've been trying. Let me get my air gun and blast this snotty snot out. So this thing's gonna turn out pretty good. I'm I'm confident. We got shitty fuel. The only thing we're gonna have to do, maybe in another video, is the um, the three bearings down here where the belt wraps around for all the front wheel drive. Good deal? No, 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 no thank not necessary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Neighbor came over before this with a little baby 20 with a worn out blade. I gave him another blade. I said, no charge. He just came back, gave me a 20. So 10 for the blade, 10 I put it on for him. So that was nice. It's one I had sold them, I think, maybe a year ago or so, something like that. Trying to help out my neighbors. He didn't have to pay me. So that looks good right there. I'm going to take off the cartridge next and blast that out it, it's open it's not plugged so our issue here was just old um, old rabbit urine so I'm going to pop up the cartridge with a screwdriver pop it up right there on the main jet just give it a little push use that as leverage pop this up oh we got more rabbit urine pouring out of here secondary jets open so this is just going to be an r and r remove and replace let's pop the secondary because sometimes there's build up in here you want to get out doesn't look too bad it's just just stinks awfully bad so crappy fuel so this was the one with a lot of 
water in the cylinder. I wonder what happened with that. If it had sat for a while. I'm thinking if it was a flood victim from that Debbie hurricane, this thing would be filled to the gills with storm water. Turn it right side up so the floats hang and I'm going to give it a little shot. Shot there. Shot there. There's one hole, two holes. Looking good. Usually takes me 20 minutes to take these apart. I wonder if the real dealers like uh, Mowers Inc., the, the local dealer, if they have um, books like the uh, automobile manufacturers, books for time, time allowances, how much allowance they give you to take off the carb and put it back on. Maybe it's an hour. And you build the customer the hour, 90 to 100 an hour, but it takes you 20 minutes. So you can do a couple of jobs in an hour and really make some money. If you're a technician, if that's the way they pay the technicians, or it could be a flat hourly rate, 25 to $30 an hour for the mechanic rate. I'm guessing. I don't know what a certified small engine mechanic makes. Okay, let's bring you back up. But the wages in Florida are cheap. Everybody wants to come here so they don't pay a lot. It's a right to work state. Let me deal with the tank. I'm going to put a reg uh, little bit of regular fuel in this and pour it out. I could take some screws. I may do that, blast this out. So I'll, sh I'll show you what I do sometimes with these tanks. These are the plastic body screws on a Murray or a yard machine when they have the front end or the, the rear end attached to the deck, 10 millimeters. So I'm going to put four in. You want to count them just to make sure they don't get caught in any of these little binding points. So four in, four got to come out. Because if four don't come out, Dino goes in after the last one. The one that doesn't want to do it. And you don't want to piss off Dino. He, he can be really temperamental. Okay, let's get serious. Small engines a serious profession. Small engine repair is a serious profession. Let's let's get going. No time to be messing around.
stuff has to be fixed and it has to be fixed quickly and efficiently. Whoops. Didn't want to spill any. Where's my air gun? I want to get rid of this. I just did a video on replacing these O-ring bucks. Small engine, do it yourself. Had a video on these. He gave the dimensions and a link to Amazon. So I bought a 10 pack of these. You guys should go check out Buck's channel. Shake and shake. What do they shake? A martini? This is a gas martini. The only thing that I got to be worried about is the little screen hump that's down in there. Kind of sticks up. Let's start shaking these things out. Nothing yet, so this is going to be a challenge. Oh, there's one, two. Just got to keep bouncing up and down. Usually it's with the uh, smaller tank. This is the larger tank on these plastic engines. Oh, there we go. No more shaking and baking. We got four. Dino's got the rest of the night off. Dino doesn't have to do shit. Just let me pour the remaining fuel out of this. And then maybe air blast it to speed things up. Made a little bit of a difference. And I didn't um, damage the screen hump. Okay, let me blast this that turned out really well I'm somewhat impressed. It's it's clean down there. See that? So carbs on. We'll do the tank. Tank's got to be slid on. We make it easy for ourselves. We put the, the clamp on without the backing plate. Give us a little room. Okay, Dino, you're always in the way. Have you seen Clucky? I think we lost Clucky today. It's your job to protect him. I don't know what happened to Clucky. I hope a hawk didn't scoop down and grab him. That would be horrific. Because Clucky's like the mainstay here of mascots. Clucky came before any of you other jokers did. So you guys better find Clucky. Snakey's missing too. I think they may be predators loose.
send out the search party. Okay. Why don't we take a 10 and, and do the head bolts since we got some space. We'll just uh, snug those up. I got a, a long 10 I'm going to grab. Long 10 millimeter socket. There we go. that much tight a little bit maybe a millimeter on that one they're all fairly tight okay so nothing crazy Okay, I still have my seven millimeter socket on the DeWalt. So we're gonna go seven here because we just put on the sevens on the bowl. I'll start here. Switch out my socket to the eight. We're going to go to the sheet metals, the heavy metal sheet metals. Okay, you're supposed to stay on the DeWalt, not abandon ship. Okay, put this cap on, prevent any crapola from jumping in the tank. Okay, recoil time. Let's, let's think about oiling this up. It would be a good opportunity to throw some used motor oil. Oh, this spring's really rust and can you see that right there so we don't want that that could lead to a broken spring down the road so I'm going to fill this little cavity where the spring hook is with a bunch of old oil I'm going to give it a shot right there on that pawl let it come back, do this side. And then a little bit right here in the middle. Yeah, I don't care if I get sloppy because all that oil's gonna drip down here onto my nut. So the next guy that's gotta check the keyway for a catastrophic strike he's going to have an easier time getting that nut off okay so we we just made a mess but that's fine let's grab the three that hold the recoil down we're going to put those on zippy zap Happy crap, and put Mr. DeWalt to work. Okay, that's down. Now we're down to our beauty ring. Remember the tab here points forward. So it's going to go down, and then you push forward here. Sorry, I just had something in my eyeball. 
looked up Amazon's out there. I think I got something coming from them. Postman just gave me three plastic carburetors, actually like this with the automatic choke. I got one more thing coming from them. I think it's blades from Amazon. They delivered the O-rings recently for these larger size caps. Buck's small engine do-it-yourself was a great help getting the size of those things and searching them out on the big jungle company. Okay, there goes Amazon. He went by me, stopped at the neighbors, and, and kept going. That was awfully rude. I don't like rude delivery people. The Brotherhood of the Brown are the best. They stop with the big junk. Charlie Brown. Okay, so that's secure. My hook here is hooky dooked. Now it's time for some real fuel. What is our oil situation? Oil's overfilled, but we can still try it. So we know we got good spark. It finally kicked off after we got rid of that moisture on the spark plug. Now, like I said, I'm going to have to go to work on the pulleys. The three pulleys, I just tried to move them by hand when the scrapper dropped it off and they were all bound up. Probably a poor design where they're exposed to moisture down there. They just freeze up but probably nothing they can do at Husqvarna to prevent that okay Dino we're, we're gonna go down and see if this was all for none but I think it's gonna be all for all let me move you guys We'll use this concrete here in front of me. Okay, hold on, Dino. Okay, we're leaking gas on the hose. There seems to be a, a split in the hose, so that'll have to come off, but it's just drip dripping. It's going to be fine enough to start but I can't let it go out the door that rubber hose has got a split in it somewhere so let me get it down we'll try it and then I'll steal a piece of hose and change it out so I don't expect any of the drive stuff to work who knows it might slide over the pulleys okay i'm going to put a new filter on it just so i don't ruin the work i just did okay that should stay i'm kind of crimping up the filter is it still leaking? Yeah, it's hose is just drip, drip, drip. So if Harvey, the homeowner, takes this thing, he's going to run out of gas. And I'm not going to let it go out the door with a drippy drip. Okay, let's pull on it. One pull, two pull, three four, five. Okay, so we we had discovered
that the safety brake cable was a, a, a little slow. So I'm going to put a clamp up there on the safety bar and come down here and, and push the, the linkage. The, um, the cable seems to be weak, so I don't, I don't think we got spark. It's, it's killing the, the coil. So let me get a clamp. Okay, I got it clamped. I'm going to use some square heads just to push on it. Oh yeah, it moved quite a bit. It's, it's really dragging. It probably moved six millimeter. Okay. One. Two, three, four. Let's blow this thing out the door. No, I don't know. We've got moisture in the cylinder again. The boot's on. Let's take off this OEM Briggs. spark plug remember the gap on this thing was really closed up oh and it, it's still got something between the gap look how closed up that thing is and that's not good. Another pile of water. Where is this water coming from? Huh? There's no gap there whatsoever. Probably should switch out this plug. Pull on this thing. Maybe try to blast out the cylinder. <laughs> Or try to open this this sorry I, I just kicked you in the head that was rude try to open this one up I'm gonna put some air into the cylinder come on air hose Turn the engine over when I did that to force any moisture out the exhaust. Okay, let's grab a, a, a plug. An RC12YC I think is going to be appropriate for this application. Okay, it looks like I got one here that's been through World War three let's see if it's got action so i'll put the rusty one here then we'll try that and we'll go back to the uh, oem briggs okay we got spark on mr rust let's put mr new back in place what can we do with you and it was sparking but since the gap is so closed up it was hardly anything for a gap so i gotta probably regap this thing so we had a nice a nice spark off here with mr russ so mr russ it's russ today is your day i'm putting you in charge of starting this orange turd it's all going to be up to you. One component, one pull, one start. That's all I ask of you. If you can do that, I'll let you do it for an ever and ever on this 2016 Husky. 
I'll put your distant cousin in some other application. Okay, Delta Airlines, they're heading up to beautiful St. Louis, Missouri. Pilots waste in no time. Like I said, Rusty, one pull, one time. That's all you get. This is serious business. Okay, so Rusty gets the job one pull one time. He did what he was supposed to. Bunch of moisture blew out of the exhaust pipe. Both front and rear drive systems worked. They pulled it ahead, so the belt may be just sliding over the pulleys. We've seen that before where the pulleys are frozen up, but the belt still passes over them and cuts a groove in the plastic because the bearings are rusted shut. So that's going to be great. I'll, I'll mess with the all-wheel drive system. I had shown you this before, this spark arrestor. It's for Canada. So I don't know if they assemble this in Canada, but this is French transmission integral okay so that worked out you guys i appreciate you coming out oh, i lost the air filter i gotta get a air filter cover so next course of action is uh check out the blade and then do the bearings maybe try to save those salvage them if not i think i've got a few in stock because that's a common bearing i've messed with these all-wheel drive hooskies before the lima charlie 221 alpha elo you guys have a great day the 2016 did what it should i'm extremely happy now we gotta send the search party out for clucky dino and i are gonna scour the neighborhood adios amigos tip your waitress and waitstaff